Hey everyone, welcome back to Rocketry. Here's something you probably didn't know. When Falcon 9 comes back to land, it isn't perfectly balanced. In fact, it's often tilting, wobbling, and even falling sideways during descent. The crazy part? The rocket has no wings, no parachutes, and only seconds to fix itself. Yet it manages to land upright almost Incredible every single time. Today, let's uncover the hidden right science now. behind Falcon 9's move. landings, the stuff that doesn't usually make headlines, but is absolutely mind-blowing once you understand it. So why did people think it was impossible? Most people think, oh, SpaceX just adds engines and it lands. But the reality? Landing a Falcon 9 is like throwing a pencil from space and expecting it to land on its eraser. NASA and other agencies never even seriously tried this because it seemed too risky. A single wrong calculation, even by a fraction of a second, and the rocket explodes, as we've seen in those early spectacular fails. Elon Musk once said the chance of it working was less than 10% when they first tried. Here's the trick Falcon 9 uses to catch itself. Here's the secret. The rocket doesn't just fall straight down. It starts tumbling, then uses grid fins, those metal X-shaped paddles, to push against the atmosphere, steering itself like a dart. Meanwhile, the onboard computer makes adjustments 250 times per second, constantly correcting the fall. Imagine trying to balance a broomstick in a storm while blindfolded. That's Falcon 9's challenge every single time. Let's break down the three burns. Most people know about the landing burn, but did you know Falcon 9 actually performs a boost back burn and an entry burn before that? The boost back burn literally reverses its path in space. That's like slamming the brakes on a car going 20,000 kilometers per hour. The entry burn protects it from the atmosphere's brutal heat. Without it, the booster would shred apart. Finally, the landing burn slows it down just meters before touchdown. And here's the crazy bit. The rocket doesn't hover. It can't. It has to fire its engines at the exact moment so that thrust reaches zero, the rocket is already on the ground. That's like jumping out of a plane and opening your parachute at the last second. You only get one shot. Now this is where it gets insanely precise. When people see Falcon 9 land, they don't realize how precise it is. The landing error margin is often just a few meters. On a drone ship out at sea with waves moving, that's like tossing a dart from a skyscraper and hitting the bullseye on a dartboard floating in a pool. And yes, sometimes it misses. Remember the famous rapid unscheduled disassemblies? But today, SpaceX nails landings so often that people forget just how insane that accuracy really is. So how does it balance in those final seconds? It's all about thrust to weight ratio. A Falcon 9 booster weighs around 25 tons when landing, and the engines are powerful enough to send it back into space. So how do you slow down instead of shooting back up? The engines throttle down to the bare minimum, just slightly above the rocket's weight, so it can slow without hovering. It's a delicate balance between falling and flying, and it only works because of insanely fast computer corrections. Here's why this changed space forever. Before Falcon 9, the idea of affordable space launches was a dream. Now, SpaceX reuses boosters up to 20 times. That's tens of millions saved per flight, which is why Starlink exists, why NASA gets cheaper ISS missions, and why private companies can suddenly afford satellite launches. Falcon 9 didn't just land rockets, it landed the entire space industry into a new era. And wait until you see what's next. Falcon 9 landings are already incredible, but they're just the warm up. SpaceX is now applying the same principles to Starship, which is twice as tall, stainless steel, and designed to carry 100 tons to orbit. Imagine the same landing trick, but on a rocket the size of a skyscraper. That's the next challenge. And if they pull it off, Mars won't just be a dream, it'll be a destination. And that's the science most people don't see when Falcon 9 sticks those beautiful landings. If you're still here, you're officially part of the hardcore space crew. Smash that like button, subscribe to Rocketry, and drop a comment.
Do you think Starship landings will be as reliable as Falcon 9? Until next time, keep watching the skies.